The risk factors for head and neck cancer are uh, smoking and alcohol use, although uh, with the social awareness and quit smoking programs, uh, the incidence seems to be decreasing, but we see an increase in incidence of HPV or virus-related head and neck cancers on the rise, uh, mainly in the elderly men. 40, 50, 60 years, uh, we see a more the viral related uh, head and neck cancers. Common signs or symptoms of head and neck cancer are uh, a palpable mass in the neck, which is persistent, and um, also lesions in your tongue or oral cavity, uh, like a thickening plaque in the gums, pinkish, whitish in color. Uh, other symptoms are changes in voice, uh, difficulty swallowing or even breathing, uh, which is persistent, not getting better with uh, common treatments like antibiotics or you know acid reflux, but still these changes are persistent, then it needs further evaluation to make sure it's not cancer. Uh, the common uh, screening techniques that are used to deduct head and neck cancer early are, you know, dental screening exams. Your dentist performs like an annual exam uh, for any lumps, plaques, or thickening in your oral cavity, your tongue, lesions in the gum. Uh, and even your piece primary care doctor can check uh, to make sure there is no lump or mass in the neck. Those are the common, you know, screening exams. Here at the Mace Cancer Center, we tend to work as a team and we have a multidisciplinary approach with all the specialty doctors uh, focusing on the patient specific uh, outcomes. You know, the cancer treatments are tailored to each patient. You know, we discuss each case uh, in the, multidisciplinary conference and make sure which is the best treatment option for that particular patient so they have better outcomes.